Hey everyone, this is Jonah coming back with another really quick UE4 Unreal Engine 4 tutorial about reversing an animation for a closing UI widget. I'll give I'll show you what I'm uh, talking about here if we play really quick. Now I have a pause menu that if I hit tab, you get a really nice opening animation for inventory and equipment. The game pauses and these two open. Now the problem I ran into is that while I was trying to close these images, these UI widgets, this would happen. See how equipment just cancels out and the other one nicely closes? The problem I was having was getting that same animation to run in reverse. Now I'll show you. This is what I was doing. I was When I was doing the close event, I just removed that widget from parent. Now that's not what you need to do. I will show you. Let's delete this. What you actually want to do. Okay, so for your close event, right, in the same way that when you have your open event or you construct the widget, right, you play your animation, your equipment open animation, and you set, like for me, I, this is what you're going to need. You're going to need an equipment open variable. All right, don't worry about that middle thing. It's not super, whoa, that was weird. Okay, so in essence, what you're going to do, you're going to play the animation in reverse this time. Same equipment open animation, just backwards. And you're going to say equipment open false, right? So it's it's now false. Now, you're going to have to get another event called event on animation finished. This is the reason why you needed equipment open, that Boolean, because you want to remove it from the parent when that animation finishes, but only when it's the closing animation. It's pretty difficult to flip around an animation and do a bunch of work here. Why don't you just run it in reverse for this specific event? So what you do is you just say on animation finished and equipment is open false, remove from parent. Now, once you do that, you recompile and play. Now, when you pause, both open nicely and both close nicely. And the game continues. Thanks everyone for watching. Uh, if you'd like any more, UE4 tutorials, please ask whatever you're looking for. I'm new to this as well, so I'm learning as I go along. This is my new game that I'm trying to build, a top-down universal exploration game. So uh, this is my latest bug that I showed in a previous video. And uh, I'll just show you guys little things that were very helpful to me when I started writing games. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a wonderful day.